Hello there everyone, my name's Event, and I'm going to show you how to screen tone your manga with screen tones from DeviantArt and other sites so you can make your own manga. It's pretty a uh, simple, simple matter. All you really need is a computer, Photoshop, and be able to access Google Images. <laughs> Other than that, that's just about it. Like, this is like completely priceless, unless you're like here all day. What's then your internet bill is going to go up by like a thousand. As you can tell, I'm using a tablet. You don't necessarily need a tablet, but I'm like really, 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 really bad with technology unless I have a tablet. So yeah, I usually use a tablet, mainly just for time. Okay, first you have your line art. Uh, someday my thing will open. Um, this obviously I did not draw. It's by Vana Chan Kawai on DeviantArt. But I made it this way because I don't have any line art of my own because I'm a really bad artist. But I'm a toner for one of my friends, so I just thought making a tutorial would be okay. <clears throat> anyway, um, yeah. This is random line art, which obviously this would be your line art. I have no idea who these characters are, so if I tan, tan them, tone them incorrectly, I apologize. And then the screen tones, on the other hand, I already have, as you can see, I have a folder called Comics which is in Japanese, but you could probably guess that my screen notes are in there. Um, then pretty much all you really have to do is put in free screen tones. If I could type today. Uh, free screen tones, and then you go to images, and then you get all this stuff. Um, and then pretty much just put the type of screen tones you want, and just like take them. But now that you have them, you're probably like, how the heck do I put these on here? Well, that's a whole nother matter. Okay. First you get Photoshop. Yeah, Photoshop on the actual Adobe site is like $300. But there are so many cracked versions of this that work so much better than the original nowadays that you could just like download it in 15 minutes and call it a day. Like, I have a Mac computer, but this isn't really my computer, by the way. <laughs> this is my school's computer that had Photoshop already built into it. So I just kind of take advantage of that. But usually Photoshop pretty much works on any type of computer. Like, there's so many, like, cracked versions. Like, even, like, what makes me sad is that my normal PC has the cracked version. And the cracked version doesn't, like, stall at all. Unlike this one where it's probably gonna have, a, like, a lot of babies when I try to use this. Okay. Okay, so we have the Leonard. And you're like, oh my gosh, what... Oh my dotty, what do I do with the line art? Okay, you have this line art, and you're like, okay, I'm gonna randomly name these people. Um, uh, I'm just gonna name them by their symbols. Um, heart, spade, diamond, and clover. Okay, we have heart, spade, diamond, and clover. Those are our characters. Okay, so we go to comics, and go to screen tones. And you see my screen tones, um, as you can see in the first thing, I have like the, the my gag comic templates and then I have screen tones and then I have references of my characters but um then I ha I usually have screen tones based on the series my friends making a walking dead series type of thing so I put walking dead screen tones and then also there's like background screen tones where it has like the has like the skies and the waters and stuff because that's really hard to draw with just like pen and paper. So they usually make screen tones for that. And the same thing with like emotions and effects. So usually, um, I should have shading somewhere, but I'm the most disorganized person in the world. Um, okay. So let's say that this is our series called, uh, let's call this series Happiness. Yeah, this is called happiness. Um, then we go to happiness, and we're like, okay, we have characters in happiness. So, you new folder. And, uh, there is heart. Spade. Uh, diamond. I don't know how to spell diamond. Um, and clover, I think. Yeah. Okay, we have our four characters. Okay, you're probably wondering why I like just like did all this random organization crap. 
Um, I do that so like whenever a character comes up, I can just go right to their folder and then go right to the screen tones. Like that makes it a lot easier. So okay, we have our folder. Excuse me. But now you're like, okay, we have our folder, folders, but like how do we pick tones for our characters? Okay, first you have to know their actual colors, but I do not know their actual colors. So I'm just going to pick a bunch of random things. Okay, um, let's go to, whoa, where am I going? Oh, shading, 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 okay. Uh, let's pick a bunch of random things for heart. Uh, this will be your hair. Uh, and this will be all the other little details on there. Okay. Uh, so then we go back to our happiness folder. We go to heart. Uh, we go here. And then I have all these numbered until I actually use them. So then for heart, I'm going to say this is her hair. So then when you're like, what is that for? You say her hair. And then for this, you go, uh, these are details. You put them any way you can remember. Okay, we're just gonna try this first so I don't, like, go over my 15 minute budget. Okay. So, whoa, where the heck did it go? Um, evidently I did not put this in here, did I? Okay, I could've swore it did, but, okay, we have our line art. Um, usually, I use this little thing right here. And then I put in a pattern, and I go like that, and then I pick the pattern, and then I like shade it, because those are for shadows. Like it's easier to draw in the shadows than taking the shadow screen tone and cutting it out. Um, but the way to put in the pattern is really like pretty simple. Um, I don't know how to explain that right now because I'm used to using Photoshop CS3. My sister helped me put in that pattern. So, you could probably comment, and then I can probably help you with it, but at this moment, I kind of can't. Because I have no idea, like, how to, how she got to put that in there. But anyway, we zoom in, zoom in on the heart. Okay, usually for shadows, what am I doing? Um, usually for shadows, I like, whoa, okay, first, 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 you have to go to layer, you have to go to new layer, and make sure everything is on multiply. If it's not on multiply, you're going to, like, be extremely angry. And don't worry about screwing up, because you can easily erase it and replace it. Erase it and replace it. Um, but not with, like, if you cut out the screen tones, like, in the next stuff I'm going to show you, then it won't really end that well. But, yeah, I'm just going to shade very, very quickly. As you can see, my, like, I don't know how to, like, art... Like, art is not my thing, but I want it to be my thing, but it's just not my thing. But anyway, I'm going to quickly shade this. Usually, you, I usually don't shade the skin, because I usually shade everything else but the skin to, like, keep, to, like, have, like, a different feel, if you know what I mean. Like, it differentiates the skin from the clothing, since... It's just all in black and white. And make sure you like you know where your light source is, but like right now I'm just like doing something extremely quick so I can get the point across. Because right now we're not really focusing on well, I'm not really focusing on the art part. I'm just focusing on just showing you how to do this. Okay. So after you shadow it any way you pretty much want to. Okay, just a moment. It's taking longer than I thought. Usually I add just like little green gauntlets of hair to like make it look just a little more alive. Okay, so after you kind of like shade that there, um, you go get the screen tone you want. Okay, first I'm going to do her hair. So I drag, just drag that into Photoshop, and you'll get something like this. Okay, here's your line art, and then here's your screen tone. Make sure that your screen tone is not a GIF. The main problem people have told me that had this problem is that they saved their thing as a GIF. If you save it as a GIF, it's not going to work, because obviously they don't let you edit GIFs. 
So you take this layer, duplicate it, and then put it on the line art. As you can see, you're like, why is it killing my entire thing? So then you go to normal and you turn it to multiply. And then with then you transform it to the scale that you want it. Like like this. Like you just transform it to how you want it. Okay, right now you're probably like, okay, yeah, yeah, okay, like I did all this, but my thing's still a mutant. Um, then after that, you just take the eraser and you just erase it. Like so. And the best way to check if you've erased all the screen tone is like turning your laptop and, well, turning your screen somewhere, or, like if you have a PC, like stand up and face it a different way. And it'll show you, like, it'll show you if you missed any little tiny things. The main problem with this is if you accidentally screw up, and if you press the undo button, you go back too far. And then you have to do it all over again, which was my main problem when I started doing this. Because I kept screwing up all the time. <laughs> It's pretty hard to use too, especially if you don't have a tablet. Like if you don't have a tablet, your life will be miserable when trying to do this. Okay. After you finish erasing all of that, which takes a while, uh, usually I go to eraser and I go to like about three, depending on the image size, and I just cut out a little bit of the highlights. Like it just makes it look more like hairy. Make it look hairy. Okay, um, it makes it look more hairy. So then, it like instead of having like this random like pattern on your person's hair, it actually makes it look kind of like their hair. That was like a really quick job. Um, then we go to details. Let me drag that in there. And we just kind of do the same thing. Like after a while, it's just like you make sure when you when you copy and paste it, make sure don't put it back on the actual thing. Like put it on whatever your liner is called. And then don't don't really merge anything until you know that you're like okay. Like usually I accidentally merge it before I'm like okay. Which is my problem. So, okay, we have our details. And sometimes when you shrink a screen tone too much, it gets rid of, like, see how, like, it's becoming a little distorted? It, like, takes away its, like, thing. So, usually, sometimes keeping it at the, like, same resolution, like, the same size, but just, like, erasing the rest of it around is okay. It just depends on how big you want your pattern to be. Like, that kind of looks, like, really, really bad. So I'm gonna like fix that, cause that's way darker than I wanted it to be. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep it like right here, like get it as close as you can, but with like without killing it, and then like you just waste like everything on this. But yeah, to summarize this entire whatever this was, well tutorial, um, yeah, like it became. Someday, someday. It's pretty much free. Like, all you need is to download some type of crack version of Photoshop, get screen tones off of DeviantArt, or simply Google Images. Then you just paste and erase. Paste and erase, make haste. Um, but yeah. And then you pretty much can make manga. Like, you can make it look like it's come out of a manga. Yeah. Just, like, feel free to, like, say anything about anything. I hope this was useful in some sort of way. I'm not quite sure if it was, but thank you for watching.